I'm endlessly fascinated with the natural world. There's nothing more incredible to me than how life exists, I suppose. I really became fascinated with the problems that the world is facing and really having this drive to be part of the solutions. Glossy black cockatoos are a threatened species and we have real concerns about their conservation. We went through the black summer bushfires in 2019-2020 and that had severe consequences for them. They're quite different to other cockatoos. They occur in smaller flocks, much lower densities within their habitat. They're pretty inconspicuous in their behaviour. They're really hard to monitor and that's where our acoustic work comes in. The A2O is the Australian Acoustic Observatory. It's a unique piece of scientific infrastructure. It's a network of recorders all over Australia. Now, continuously recording sound. With bioacoustics, we can now actually monitor species and even entire ecosystems just with sound recorders. In a six year period, we're going to be collecting 2,000 years of sound. We need smart machine learning tools to make sense of that sound data. My name's Tom Denton. I'm a software engineer at Google, and my focus is in machine learning for audio. The model takes uh, raw audio that we've recorded out in the field, and it splits it up into a number of different channels and tries to break out different birds and different environmental noise into different channels. That's just yeah. the male. I haven't actually heard the female responding yet. We had really good results using this search for audio technique that was able to turn up a number of vocalizations within about 100 gigabytes of data. Glossy black cockatoos might just give one or two little soft contact calls while they're feeding. That may be it in the day. Being able to detect those calls is critical. The first time I had a look at the outputs from the model, that's the first thing that I came across and that really got me quite excited. For the first time ever, we know how are they changing, how are they moving around, how are they adapting to our changing climate. The challenges that I faced early on in my research are now not even challenges. The realm of possibility is massive and it just gets me so excited that I can answer these really interesting conservation questions. That harmony of different skill sets has opened up a world of potential.